Hannah Scholes, the Bob Mills Weather Center. Hannah, I'm getting some of that shopping done. I'm about to check good. everything off the list. Yeah, good work. I have a couple people still left on my list Me? to buy for. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. You can get it better late than never. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll get on that, okay? <laughs> well, if you're heading out the door this morning, you're going to need two outfits, one for the morning and afternoon, and then one for the evening. If you're already home uh, by later this evening, I think you'll be fine with maybe one outfit. You might have to run to your car <laughs> once that north wind starts kicking in and making our feels like temperatures feel a little colder. So there's our system. It's got a uh, cold front with it now bringing snow across the Rockies up through Nebraska, Minnesota, South Dakota. All of that's making its way towards us. We currently have clear skies. A lot of sunshine is expected and our temperatures are really mild. We are above 20 degrees warmer than we were at this time yesterday. 55 in Oklahoma City, 50 in El Reno and Hinton, 51 in Fort Cobb. But here comes the cold air 15 now in Rapid City 10 degrees in Billings Montana that air from Canada you see the single digits up there that's all making its way south and we're going to be feeling much colder this time tomorrow and so once it gets here we're not going to be quite this cold except for maybe in the panhandle, but we are going to be feeling that Arctic air for sure. So for this morning, the snow ongoing right now this afternoon, we see the drop in temperatures and the wind shift, but it's dry for us. We're not expecting any rain with this system except for maybe a little bit in southeastern Oklahoma, and I think they're seeing a little bit of fog and drizzle this morning. This evening, a severe weather outbreak across the southeast United States. Some people could see some very severe impacts. I think a tornado outbreak is very possible for our friends in the east. But for Oklahoma, we stay dry with this system. The main thing is going to be our temperatures dropping drastically overnight and into tomorrow morning. So the mild temperatures, they're here for today. There's our cold front. The severe storms off to the east. An Arctic chill settles in for the morning tomorrow. And I think tomorrow's going to be a pretty chilly day as well. Winds from the north all day long. Our second front comes in after we've started to get mild for yet another day or so. And um, then we get a little bit mild again with some more shower chances before front number three comes on through. So we have three different fronts in the nine day. I think this first one has the the largest drop in temperatures, but the, the third one is also looking pretty strong as well. So frigid temperatures are behind that, and I think we stay a little bit on the cooler side with some rain chances in the nine day as well. But this is our current view on our downtown cam. We got clear skies. It is mild 55 degrees. Our current temperature winds from the south at around 20 miles per hour. The wind is going to stick with us all day long today. It's going to be from the south at first, then it's going to be switching from the north, and that's when it starts to really make an impact on our temperatures. 24 degrees is how much warmer we are this time than we were 24 hours ago. 55 in Oklahoma City, middle, upper 50s, some 60s even in southeastern Oklahoma this morning. We still have some 30s and 40s in the Panhandle and in western Oklahoma as well. But there's our strong winds from the south gusting up to 30 miles per hour in some spots. Spots. It's definitely a blustery day expected and that wind it's only just going to change in direction and that's going to be making it really feel a little bit chilly in northwestern Oklahoma. This is our, these are our temperatures around two three o'clock this afternoon 39 in Alva and Woodward 37 in Guyman 67 in Oklahoma City. Some people reaching the 70s for the day today especially in southeast Oklahoma overnight tonight. We're in the middle 20s and people are feeling like the teens and single digits in the panhandle tomorrow afternoon. A far cry from the 60s. We are more than 20 degrees cooler at 45 degrees are high tomorrow. We warm it back up through Friday. Then our next front drops us back down with a couple rain chances for the weekend. We warm it up again and then drop it back down for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.